Hello and welcome to the third episode of the Django course. In this episode, we are going to do two things. First, I'm going to add images to these uh, poems. That is, if you want to add images to, to these, how should you do that? So we are going to learn how to work with media files. And the second thing is, uh, I'm going to ch make sure that these, uh, like these tabs, they have the correct title. That is, the title in your HTML page is the title of your document. Now, for all of them, it's document at the moment. So if I go to a poem, it's still document. If I go to about page, it's still document but I want this to um, dynamically change if I go to home page that is here it should be home page if I go to a poem it should be the name or a title of the poem and so on so the first thing we need to do um, let's go to our base and I'm going to change this title thing so inside the title tag you can see it's document for all of them so how do I insert values in my HTML page if you remember, that was double curly braces, and you add values there. Let's call this title. Well, it makes sense to call it title. So where do I get this value of title? Again, if you remember, we get it from our views file. So the views are responsible for the logic behind displaying information. And we had this for URLs, for example, and we had this for other things. Now, for in home page, for example, you see we had the poem titles and others. Now, inside the base, now we are going to have access to title according to the page it serves. So let's go to the views and inside this function up for home, we can add the title to our context because the context is the one that provides the thing. So I'm adding title. And I'm going to call it home page. That's it. So what about the second one is for about. We can either insert that right in here. That is as a dictionary. Title uh, is the key, the values about page. Or we can create a context and do it there. I will keep it just like that. And now for the poem details. Uh, we are going to add this to the poem context here and let me see now the title is going to be something dynamic that is according to whatever poem it is I want the title of that poem to be in the title so remember I have access to poem already right here so I'm going to say the title is going to be the title of that poem okay and that's it so now if I go and refresh you can see we have home page here in the tab. Maybe it's a bit too small for you, but trust me, it is. If I go to about, you can see it's about page. And if I go to humanity poem, full text, you can see we have humanity here. Uh, third poem, we have third poem here. And the wind, we have wind here. Okay, so far, so good. Now let's deal with images. So I want the user or the, the author or the administrator to be able to upload images and those images could be shown wherever he wants. For instance, the image of Robert Frost, for instance, could be here or whoever uh, that you want to put in there. Now, these are called media files. And in order to enable that functionality in Django, we can go to settings and we specify down below right under static URL here we can specify the URL for our media files now uh, so that, let's just create a media URL and that is going to be called media and I have created already a media folder here by the way inside our base directory so now let me oh by the way get rid of these poems these sorry images already I have them okay now it's an empty folder called media inside the base directory and the URL is going to be media by URL I mean you, you go to your website.com forward slash media forward slash I don't know Robert Frost dot PNG so that is the URL that, that shows it but where do we store this thing we're going to store it inside our media 
root. Let's see if uh, Amazon, yes, suggested. Okay, so the root of the media is going to be inside our base directory. Let me show you by here. This is our base directory. Inside the base directory in a media folder called media, and that is it. This is here. So all our media are going to be stored in there. Whenever you, you upload something from the admin, it's gonna go there. All right, now let's save this control S, everything good. Now, another thing is that we are going to change our models as well. So remember, we're gonna add an image field to our model, which already has a title, author, excerpt, and so on and so forth. So let's just create an image field here. And I'm gonna say image is equal to, thank you, Amazon, models.image field uppercase I and F and upload it to the directory, the main directory, which is like media because we specified it before and null true blank true. And the reason I've said null and blank to true is here you saw why actually, but I'm gonna explain it again because our previous poems did not have any images. And if we do not specify this, Django is thinking, okay, what about those? without images. So we're gonna say, okay, it's fine if, if poems do not have images now. Okay, I'm gonna save it again, Control S, but down below, since we have made changes to our model, uh, we are going to prepare these changes by make migrations command. So Python, manage.py, make migrations, one word, and you can see we have uh, the image here. So now that we've prepared it, we need to migrate it. So Python manage.py migrate command and all is good. Okay, now let's go to our uh, admin dashboard. Well, first let's run our server here, run server, Python manage.py run server. And apparently there is no error so far. So I'm just going to admin and right there, we have our poems, so click on it. And here we have our poems, for example, humanity. You can see now we have an image field. So let's just choose an image here. I have some random images uh, from Unsplash or Pixabay. Uh, so let's just use this guy here for our first image called humanity. And let's save this. And for the, uh, yeah, that should be enough actually. So we have one image for one of them. The rest do not have any images. Uh, okay, no, actually, let's see. Yes, no images for this one. The third poem apparently has an image. Humanity, okay, has this image. All right, so we have one image. Now I'm going to display it uh, right here. So right under, I don't know, this was it, right under humanity, I'm gonna display that image. Now let's go back and how we deal with them, go to home.html here. Um, but this, uh, I, I'm going to first install it now. So now, right under the title, I said I want the image to be. Now, remember some of these, um, some of these poems do not have an image. So we're gonna say only if an image is available, show it. So for that, we need an if statement, one pair of curly braces, and percentage signs for if and for loops, for if statements or for loops. I'm gonna say if poem dot image. Remember we had called that field image. So if there is an image for that poem, and let's also uh, end our if here and if, then show the image. How do we show the image? Well, we need an image tag and the source where is this going to come from? It's going to come from the uh, poem dot image and dot URL. This is important because poem dot image will only serve uh, like face dot PNG, frost dot PNG, but we are looking for that URL. So now I'm gonna save this. And if I go back, nothing changes actually. So if I refresh, we see 
nothing changes, only that there is some kind of a space here. So why do I not see the image? So if I go to uh, like inspect, let me see what's happening here. So if I go to inspect, you can see we have this forward slash media forward slash face for so there is this here, but it's not being displayed. So what I'm going to do, oops, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to go to the URL patterns, URLs of my main, uh, uh, my app, my project, and right after these patterns, I'm going to insert the whole path to those media files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just say plus, and here we are going to add static because it's a static file and uh, well not what Django is uh, offering so settings dot media come on show me something yes so we are going to add static from settings media URL remember it was forward slash media document dot root where is the root of that thing where do you get these images from settings dot media root so you can see that setting is like this kind of line here it means it doesn't exist we need to import it so right here let's say from django dot conf import settings and if you also see the same thing for static right here from django.conf.urls.static import static and let's save this control s let's go back refresh and now you should see this guy so the image is a bit off obviously so what we need to do we are going to add some styling to it uh, let's go back to where was that here and we can simply add a width of, for example, 50 pixels, go back, refresh, and you can see here, let's add two um, break lines to it, right after, so one break line here, one break line here, and now it should be all good. Okay, so this is one. You can also add an alt attribute by using just this one here, so in case, the image cannot be shown there will be some alt attribute if i go over it and if i inspect this you should see poem dot image um yeah okay so uh that is yeah the reason was this i was thinking why i got that file so that is the reason okay now if i do is inspect you can see i get face 4.jpg so if you give it a meaningful name for example robert frost then that would be much more meaningful okay so now this is how you add images from the admin dashboard to your posts now if i want to change this also include that as well here then i will add it to my post my poem details as well okay that was it for this video i hope you like the changes we made uh, let me know what you think so in the next video we'll add much more functionality to our blog thank you for watching and listening